morning friends, I hope you're all well. Um, it's a rather dreek day here today, which you know I love. It's not raining at the moment, but it's really windy and apparently it's a little bit chilly. So when I woke up this morning, I have no plans for today. Um, so what I'm really in the mood for is a little solo adventure. And I haven't been to North Berwick in months. It's been a really long time, I think since spring maybe. So I thought that, it, and I think North Berwick is such a lovely place for a solo adventure because it's not too big, it's really easy to get to and there's really nice coffee shops that you can sort of sit in. So I thought that that's where I would go today. So I'm going to take some photos because I'm sort of lacking in inspiration at the moment and I'm just not really in the mood to be posting on Instagram so I'm like I really need a day that I just go out and take lots of photos and then hopefully get more inspired. Um, but yeah, because I miss being excited to post like photos and share them. So I thought that, that would be a good place to go and then I realised that it would be wonderful to bring you along too because I don't think I've, well no I definitely have shared North Berwick on the vlogs but a long long time ago, years ago maybe. Um, and it's one of my favourite places and it's a really great place if you're coming for a visit and maybe you're coming for a whole week it's the perfect place for a little day trip because it's not far and it's really quite it has a very different feel because it's by the coast and it's more of a kind of small town. Yeah, it's definitely more of a small town. I wouldn't call it a village because it has a high street. Um, and it's just so pretty. So we better get going. The train is every hour and I think I'm, I think the one I'm aiming for is the quarter to one train and then I'm gonna swing by the Sicilian pastry shop en route to the station and pop in to get something for lunch and then I've packed a flask of tea so I'm gonna have a little kind of picnic at some point and yeah and then maybe go for a tea and cake later on in the day so we better get going because um, I don't want to miss this train because the next one's an hour But um, this is what I got. It's massive. This is my hand for scale. <laughs> it's really big, but it looks amazing. I think it's focaccia. Um, it looks like mozzarella, tomato, um, so it looks really good.
marshmallows. It was Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. It was so, so good. Delicious. Like it looked really messy, but it was just so flavorful and oh, it was amazing. I think one of the best lunches I've had recently that I can think of. Um, delicious. Really, really highly recommend. Um, in general, the Sicilian pastry um, shop is just amazing. So if you're in the area or you're visiting Edinburgh, I would highly recommend. It's not a very... Um, you can't sit in or it's not... It is cute, but it's not the cutest shop. But the quality and all the different things that they have, is, it's just delicious. Highly recommend. Berwick and I found a little patch here that isn't too windy so hopefully there's not too much noise in the background um, but yeah that was a lovely little train journey I really 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 enjoyed my lunch so that was a good start to our adventure I'm thinking what we'll do is maybe walk along the beach first in case because at the moment it doesn't seem that bad it's a little bit chilly but not very windy so I figured since the weather is okay <laughs> I'll walk along the beach for a bit, take some photos and then maybe pop to their high street, maybe have a look in a few shops, we'll see how busy it is and then I'd love to finish the day at um, Steampunk Coffee with a book that I brought and then head back to get the train. So that's my current plan. Um, I'm not sure when I can next sort of check in with you depending how windy it gets because it can be really annoying in the background. So yeah, let's head off to the beach.
So I've actually not had a chance to see tons of North Berwick because I was really enjoying just walking on the beach, having a look out over the ocean. Um, so I thought I would explore the high street now. Um, but I'm not sure whether just to head straight to Steampunk Coffee because it is starting to spit a little bit and I'm hoping it's not going to start pouring. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm actually really cold. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel pretty frozen. So I think this would be quite a nice time for like a hot chocolate or something. So I think we'll head over in the direction of a steampunk coffee and maybe see what we see along the way. Okay, so it's going to be a bit windy, apologies, but I've just left Steampunk Cafe. Amazing hot chocolate. I'm doing so well with my, you know, my lunch was lovely, the hot chocolate was amazing, and I've got about 15 minutes to get to the train station. Um, so I'm just going to walk through the high street and then get on the train back to Edinburgh. friends so as you can tell I am safely back in it's been quite a few hours and I've had dinner had a shower and I'm all cozy for the evening but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching I had a wonderful day and I really enjoyed bringing you along so I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed my my outing 
and yeah it was really nice to revisit steampunk coffee because i haven't been there for a really long time i think since pre-lockdown i'm pretty sure um and it's kind of changed actually if you have been before um you can't sit on the like the first floor anymore that's closed off they've converted the ground floor into more seating so that's where i was today and then yeah i think that was all i just got the train back it was nice and quiet but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you again for watching and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>